Welcome back to Daybreak. Today and all week we are celebrating our West Michigan High School seniors. We just highlighted Zeeland East and Zeeland West students. Now we are shining the spotlight on East Grand Rapids. Speaking with the, their principal this morning, Craig Weigel, joining us live uh, via Zoom. Craig, thanks for being here with us. Yep, thanks for having us. Appreciate it. You guys have already been busy uh, celebrating your seniors last night for a special ceremony tonight. Yeah, we, we've been working hard the last uh, couple of weeks to really try to give them as many of those traditional um, events that we have in the springtime. And, and uh, last night, our parent group uh, was active in uh, putting up some banners for our students um, around Memorial Field. So you were supposed to have your graduation today, but obviously you have these other plans in place. Do you also hope to have an in-person graduation at some other point? Yeah, so today would have been our traditional date for the graduation. It would have been a beautiful day according to the forecast. Um, so tonight we have, um, you know, the banners will be on display for, for the next couple of weeks along Memorial Field and the lights will be on tonight uh, for our students to come out and, and uh, we'll have our scoreboard running all day today, um, scrolling the names of our students for some photo opportunities. Uh, and then our seniors, you know, we, when we worked with our seniors, it was overwhelming that they really wanted to, to postpone um, graduation as long as possible to try to do something in person. Uh, and so we've got a couple dates out there, one of, of June 25 and another of August 6. Uh, and we're just waiting to see uh, how all this plays out before we make a final decision on how we're going to, to conduct graduation. Yeah, Craig, speaking with a lot of your seniors, they miss each other. That has been uh, uh, the resounding sentiment there. When we spoke with some of them in the fall, one in particular, Lane Richards, was uh, raising money for your heart, in, through your Hearts of Gold game. She had a goal of raising 80000 but raised over $200,000 through that event. Uh, that's just the woman that she is, the high school senior at East Grand Rapids. She says that through this pandemic, everything she's lost, she's been prepared for it through how her life has been. I was in that place where I never wanted anybody to know, where I was so embarrassed and so scared that somebody would find out. And I don't want other kids to be afraid to have a voice. It took Lane Richards a bit longer to find hers, but now it is a call to others, a roar for change. It's the sound of understanding. I was actually talking to someone earlier um, and we were like half joking that I'm a little more well equipped because in the past I've learned that you can't dwell on something you can't control. You just have to power through and do whatever you can do. You can't fix it all. Something Richards knows from living with epilepsy, a cause for a cure she's devoted much of her life to, to control what she can, raising money, lobbying Congress, a tireless battle that has equipped her to handle what this pandemic has taken from the EGR seniors and beyond. I would like to think that I'll be remembered kind of as an advocate or somebody that was always there for other people. I can't speak for those who have a memory for me, but I always love to think that that's what I'm remembered as, um, somebody that's hardworking. Um, that's my hope. That's always been my goal. And she's a terrific young woman headed to Grand Valley State University, hoping to study special education in the fall. Now, East Grand Rapids High School doesn't recognize a valedictorian, but we have been in touch with the class president, Anna Knubel, who is looking forward to everything that is planned for this evening. Yes, and here's her message for her senior class and community. Hi, everyone. My name is Anna Knubel, and I'm a senior here at East Grand Rapids High School. In order to celebrate our seniors, we've done banners, yard signs, and Friday night lights. We are hoping to hold an in-person graduation ceremony soon because that's a big tradition here at East. Most importantly, the class of 2020 is remembering all of our amazing moments and memories we've shared together. Thanks and go East. So we really enjoyed talking with all of your students, Craig. Thank you for joining us this morning to help us celebrate them. Yeah, my pleasure. Thank you guys for taking the time to, to celebrate uh, the class of 2020. It's been awesome. And um, I'm really proud of how our, our seniors and seniors in general across the nation have really responded to this. And we just want to say from all of us here at Wood TV8, congratulations to the East Grand Rapids Pioneers Class of 2020. Thank you. Congratulations. Congratulations. Congratulations, congratulations class of 2020. 2020. Congrats, class of 2020. Go, Go East! East.